eat 90% of our toys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But life is short. You only get so much time to spend it with the people you love. So if there's a obstacle like money or uh, access or any of that stuff, dig deep and find a way to make it happen. Uh, because yeah. you're missing something if you're not. Yep, yeah, you are. Hey y'all, my name is Ryan Olson and I'm the owner of Whitebone Creations. On this channel, we do some how-to skull cleaning, a little how-to cooking, some fishing, and a whole bunch of hunting experiences. And through the years, we've had a uh, character that keeps coming up over and over. It's the fan favorite, Uncle Bud. I'm trying to keep it together to do this film, and I'm doing this because I feel like we owe the audience, people who watch those films and comment and appreciate them and love them, I think we get to know the people in these films and you feel like you have a relationship with them. Uh, Uncle Bud passed away in January and I've been fighting and wrestling this how do I tell the YouTube audience. So in short, Bud had cancer 22 years ago. He was cancer free or in remission I think is the term that they use. And so Bud got a different outlook on life and that's why he and I were so blessed to travel around and film these hunts. And what he really wanted was to be able to document this very special time and lead by example to others. In short, just say, hey, don't let something like money and time get in the way of doing something you want. Bud lived that lifestyle that he preached. He understood the value of it from getting a second look. One of the things that I talk about in just about every conversation with loved ones is I have this list of 20 questions that we've developed over the last 10 years. It's pretty basic, but if you have someone that you love that is getting up there in age or has a risky lifestyle or whatever, sit down with your phone and just do an interview of these 20 questions. Um, roughly a few weeks before Bud died, I was able to sit with him and his wife and ask him these 20 questions, something we had talked about doing forever and we just didn't. This film is part of those questions and then just some stuff that I extracted from hunts that just make me smile. There's a good message here. If you knew Bud, stick around and watch it. If you didn't and you just want to see the life of a very incredible human, well, then this film may be for you. Either way, I felt like you guys should know, and thank you so, so much for watching. Go do whatever it is you want to do, and do it right now. What's your full name? My full born name is Dwayne William Wright Jr., born October 15th, 1954. Do you have any nicknames? Nickname is Bud. How do I got it? I don't know. Uh, what were your main interests or hobbies? Always outdoors. I, I starved to be outside. Uh, do you have a favorite place on planet Earth? There are no rules. Like, if you close your eyes and you're going to go someplace special. New Zealand. Back to New Zealand? Yeah. Eat salmon at Mount Fur. Park. Sandler, As you know, it's for so many reasons. Oh, it, yeah. The people, the place, the... Anyway. Proudest moment? Well, I got two then, speaking of the area that I love, being outside, and it was Maddie when she shot her first year. He's a beauty. <laughs> oh, shit. Two, three. Nice. That's, that's, <laughs> that is... Good job, Madison. Way to go. Now you get to do all the fun stuff. Yeah. Of course, she showed that to her in Maui. I was like, yeah. Right. Yeah. That was a, a range of emotions for me. That big deer I filmed off the side, she's trying to get on the Aha Rock, couldn't get steady. And of course, one side's like, God, that's a giant. I've never seen one that big. <laughs> and, and she, that's the pride part. I couldn't get steady. Couldn't get steady because so you didn't try to yeah. take a shot. Patience way beyond her. That's the part that makes you proud. Yeah. Right. Because you had a decent shot. I still 200 yards. Oh, uh, yeah. Means across there. And I'm, 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 I don't get jittery. I was jittery. I'm sitting back on my home, not shaking this. Paw, and it goes off. And I think 
Jump kicks. You know, kicks? And I went, you're kidding me. <laughs> Do you have a bucket list of things that you want to accomplish? Yeah. You know, yes, I've, I've had a big bucket list. And most of them include some of these critters. And I've accomplished, I think, every one that was on my early list. Of course, as it grew, we've added a couple, and hopefully I'll be able to get accomplished. I don't really have anything that sticks in my head like stag or the, like it did. Yeah. I mean, I want to get a couple of things, but it's not like yeah. I'm, I'm sweaty palm about it. Right? Yeah. I think that's testament to you doing what you set out to do. Well, you don't know when your cutoff time is, so you've extended that list, but you've done everything on that. You, you've done them, right? I've and you didn't them. lay down and take an excuse like whatever. Yeah, yeah. And you did it, and I think that's, for me, that's a great example of, you don't know what tomorrow brings, so you do it. You go do it right now. Get it done. Uh, and you can, just me personally, I think it's good to constantly put shit in the bucket. You've proven you that to me, right? You got me back in it? I'm telling you, you're exactly right. I've been over fortunate for what I've been able to accomplish. Especially over this last decade or so, maybe 15 years. Things I never, ever dreamed I'd be able to do. Ever. My lovely wife hunting there with me. Yep. Or so many things. Hunting has been his life all the years we've been together. And I mean, I used to get certain wives that would say, can't you keep Bud at home? You, you know, he's gone, you know, because he would take the husbands. And I'm like, you know what? He's not going to be able to do it forever. And you know what? It's something he enjoys. He works hard and gives me a vacation when he goes. And I enjoy when I get that phone call on that mountain. And, he says, and the first thing I say to him is the brown down. And he says, yep, it's like, just fills my heart. It's I good. I watched, the, I watched that Sitka hunt the other day. We called Deb from the sat phone up there. Oh, yeah, yep. that's right. I got somebody wants to talk to you. Hang on just a minute. Hey, honey. Brown to down. <laughs> We've been busting our hump, darling, let me tell you. <clears throat> I just, I love it. How do you want to be remembered? I want to be remembered as something that's patient, appreciative, love friendship, love family, no more than anything like that. Just to be a nice guy. Mm -hmm. I can't, I can't pull myself to be mean. Mm -hmm. If you're a bad person doing something bad, that might be a different ballgame, but right. in conversation, meet new people, I love it. Which is something I've always loved. I just remember this guy that's kind of easy going and helpful and appreciative. And <laughs> but I'm just that one that's got to give. Yeah. Good hearted. No, that's for sure. That's, that's for a sure. good word for him. He's good hearted. Oh, yeah. What life advice would you give to the next generation of rights? I think my first thing was be love who you can love, let him know you do. Make all the friends you can. Be honest and true to them. Most important, honest and true to yourself. Don't let anybody alter what you feel. You stay who you are, always. Focus on life. And focus on friendship. With family and friends, both. It's the most crucial thing you'll ever own. Most important thing you'll ever have. Yeah, the bad will gravitate away and the good will gravitate toward you. Right? Yep. Stay in your lane. Never become a character yourself. It's all so, so true. I think my only special thing, especially my family, could be no more proud. And that's about the most proud thing I've got. Friends, God bless you all, man. You made my life worth it. <laughs> cool. Get my hat. George Strait.
2014 elk, elk hunting attire. Cabello's eats your heart out. <laughs> yeah, what do you think of Bud's new uh, New Zealand camos over there? <laughs> yeah, there it is. <laughs> What's the plan? Uh, <laughs> good morning. Hello. Oh, hunting. <laughs> this feels kind of weird. Argentina. Ta-da. Hello. Hello. A pair of what? A pair of Keats. Una cervecita, 1890. God bless the USA. I'm losing it. <laughs> Bu buck on the first Where'd morning? Where'd you find this guy? I don't shoot bucks on the first morning. Well, we just did. <laughs> shoot good ones on the first morning. Hell yeah. <laughs> Uncle Bud. Hey, Uncle Bud. <laughs> I'm gonna bang one. <laughs> <laughs> you good with that, Uncle Bud? <laughs> I am. Mine's a big one. <laughs> Hello. Should he go slightly? Not it. <laughs> a prayer for the animal. We have fire, baby. <laughs> <laughs> the sounds. As deaf as I am, I can still hear them. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> it's 27 degrees. It's perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. But I thought you were chasing live ones. Much easier. <laughs> <laughs> the pack out's better. We're back. We are. What? I just what? found your bison. Really? Where? I found your bison. Really? Where? Right here. There's a whole bunch. Oh, there's a bigger one. Oh my, oh my god, there's the biggest one yet. Bud. What? I found your bison. Where? What? I found your bison. No way, where? Right here. But what? I, I just found your bison. Where? Right there. Oh, there he is. You just killed the giant bison. What are you going to do now, Uncle Bud? I'm going to go to Disneyland. <laughs> Don't tell anybody, but I killed a bison. <laughs> When's the baby due? <laughs> Soon. <laughs> Honestly, I think it's a gas bubble. <laughs> With all pizza. Look, they spelled Big Snowy wrong. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? We're getting fuel. It's eight degrees and snowing. Is it? <laughs> That's why my legs are cold. <laughs> Cholula. <laughs> Hello, bud. Uncle Bud here. <laughs> Get above the single digits today. I'll be tickled. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Are you boys dressing each other now? <laughs> Hello, love. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Montana. Hunting box? I am. <laughs> Last day in Montana? Yeah. Yeah. Deer winning so far. <laughs> Who's going to win in the end? Well, uh, I think I am. Yeah. <laughs> I got him. Don't worry about it. I got him. Yep. Any predictions, Uncle Bud? Yep. Dead antelope. <laughs> yep. For sure. Dry, dry, dry. Never miss the opportunity to do a steak mill cheers with a loved one. All right, I know what you shot. The best blacks I've ever shot in my life. About an hour and a half ago. And I'm skinning her with my Uncle Dick's knife. Again. Thing just works beautiful. And Thank you, Uncle Dick. Appreciate it. Love you. Few know this, but Bud was with me for my very first buck, and I was with him for his last buck. Looking at it now, it would be impossible to put a value on this. So many of you watching right now know Bud through these films. 
not only was he very special to all of you, you were very special to him and he'd want you to know that. Bud's smile, that charisma, and that infectious laugh will live on in our hearts and minds forever. A message from Bud to all of you. Cherish family and friends. Take advantage of the time you have here on earth. Respect one another. And if there's something you want to do, don't wait.